We're to protect and serve the postal service. Edna's sole job is to protect people that are delivering our mail. Their job is more dangerous than ever. But in the last couple of years, she says that job has become substantially harder. Mail theft and attack against carriers have skyrocketed. It's out of control. The president of the Postal Police Officers Association, Frank Albergo, says to me that their police force has diminished in the last couple of years. Postal police officers have one mission, and that's to protect the mail, protect postal employees. He says they now have 350 officers nationwide, where they used to have upwards of 2,700. Postal police are also now only able to respond or make arrests when an incident happens on postal property, which does not include residential mailboxes. In 2020, they basically began dismantling the postal police force. They stripped us of our policing power. And uh, since then, there's been a 27% uh, decrease in our staffing. Meanwhile, the number of incidents involving postal workers is on the rise. The postal inspector was not able to provide me the total number of incidents today, but Edna says there are several calls every week. Albergo says that it wouldn't have escalated to this point if they had more officers. When we're needed most, that's when I decided to get rid of us. The USPS sent me this statement here saying that the Postal Inspection Service is engaged on multiple fronts with various partners to combat robberies and prosecute these criminals. Now, some of the examples that they provided me included local law enforcement and the FBI. Frank and Edna tell me that they're now calling on Congress for help in getting their police force and their jurisdictions back. Reporting in Palm Beach County, I'm Danielle C, WPTV News Channel 5.